All right, the last property is the align self property, which is used to control alignment of individual flex items. The values are pretty much the same that is applicable for the align items property on the flex container. So let's take a look at them one by one. Now to help us with the demo, I'm going to set a height on the container. So this height is going to be 400 pixels. So now if I refresh the browser, you can see that the container has a height of 400 pixels and the items stretch from flex start to, fl sorry, cross start to cross end. Now the first possible value for align self is flex start. So for item one, I'm going to set align self to flex start. Now if I refresh, you can see that item one is pulled to the top, which is where the cross axis starts. The second value is flex end, which aligns the item with the end of the cross axis. So for item two, I'm going to set align self to flex end. And if I refresh, item two is pulled to the bottom. This is where we have cross end. The third possible value is center. So for item three, I'm going to set align self to center. If I refresh, you can see that item three is now centered. The fourth value is stretch. So for item four, I'm going to set align self stretch. Now this stretches the item from cross start to cross end. If I refresh the browser, you can see that item four is stretched. But hang on, so are items five through nine. Now you might think, okay then, stretch is the default value for align self property. But that is not true. The default value for align self is auto, which implies align self must be computed from the align items property of the parent flex container. Items five through nine are stretched because the container has align items of stretch, which is the default value. Starting to get a bit confusing, right? So let me go over this slowly. If I go back to Visual Studio Code, you can see that the flex container has no align items property set. So what is the default value? It is stretch. So container has align items set to stretch by default. Now let's go to flex item five. So item five, does it have align self property? No. Then what is the default value of align self? It is auto. And what does auto specify? Auto specifies that the item should take the value for align self as the value of parents align items property. So item five takes the value of stretch from the parent container. So do items six, seven, eight and nine. Now, if I do set align items property on the parent container, I'm going to set it to flex end. Refresh the browser. You can see that items five through nine will inherit this value and will be pushed to the end of the cross axis. So very important to keep the default values in mind. For align self, the default value is not stretch. It is auto which means inherit the value of align items from the container. Align items on the container has a default value of stretch, but align self on the individual items has a default value of auto. And if align self is specified, it always overrides the align items value. So the align self property is used to align the items individually. It accepts values like auto, flex start, flex end, center, and stretch. If specified, it will always override the align items value of the flex container. 
All right, with that, we wind up with the different properties that are part of the Flexbox module. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.